Are you a vegan? I am, yeah. Ah, well, more vegetarian cause sometimes I do, sometimes think, oh, but I could just do with ice cream, but I try and avoid it because I just... There's vegan ice cream. Hello. Hello, I'm just curious. There isn't an argument against being vegan. You want to sit down? Yeah, sure. Hello there. What's your name? Billy. My name's Joey. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. As you can see, I'm a big Smiths fan. Oh, really? Morrissey obviously promotes the vegan ideology as well. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Um, it's not an argument, it's just a question. Okay. With people with dietary requirements, I said dietary requirements, my cousin has um, a certain syndrome, it's Prada Billy syndrome, his body can't feel satisfied by hunger. And if Toby went vegan, it could potentially kill him. Is there anything that you could suggest to maybe help me try and to turn towards more of a, maybe not a vegetarian lifestyle, but anything that I could help reduce his meat intake? Are you a vegan? I am, yeah. Ah, well, more vegetarian cause sometimes I do, sometimes think, oh, but I could just do with ice cream, but I try and avoid it because I just. There's vegan ice cream. Oh my god, yeah, there is. And I got it from bloody Holland and Barrett a few weeks ago. Yeah. Being a student is quite difficult with a vegan lifestyle because it is a bit like expensive. It depends. Yeah. How expensive do you want to make it? That's true. I've I've never really thought about the cost. I just always think, well, I could just do this, and and I like the fact that bread is vegan. Dry to dry toast is underrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my opinion. I mean, there's ways of you know designing any diet to be expensive or cheap. Yeah, I've always found, but before I was. Uh, before I was a vegetarian, that was really expensive because corn is quite expensive. I think some of it, like really, the, the, some of the really? One, like the che the one with the cheese and the broccoli in it, like on, in Tesco's for a student, two pound sixty is quite expensive. Yeah, that, I would go for more the beans, the legumes, and nuts, the seeds, the uh, whole grains, and yeah. uh, fruits and vegetables, and then you know add those things in as a treat. Yeah. So with with my cousin, how could I improve? He, well, okay. like try and stall his meat intake. Yeah, so I, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not a medical no, doctor. Um, but I would just refer him to a medical doctor, someone yeah. like Dr. Garth Davis on um, Instagram or someone like Dr. Michael Clapper. Um, uh, PCRM, which is the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Like, right. that's who I'd refer him to. Um, I, I wouldn't make a diagnosis and say, no, okay, no, this, no, I'm not a dietitian not. either. Do you know much about the dairy industry? Just for, um, out of curiosity, because I can't help your friend there. But no. like, when, when people sit down for this, there's a caveat. I'm saying there's no argument against you being vegan. Yeah, I, I have seen the dairy industry. There obviously are obviously arguments too. against people being vegan in the world. Yeah. Like, survival's one. Like, if you're going to die. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah like, I, say, I think, well, I'm going to die. I, th I think if I was stranded on an island, I think I would try my best to... Survive. Find fruit. You, yeah. Yeah, you try to find some Anything stuff to eat, but I then could. Like, you yeah. started starving and I, I dying. Have, I have seen stuff, and it is quite shocking. I mean, I, ideological before even I was so meat free. The dairy industry, hey? Yeah, it's. Oh, it just really is. Well, this is the meat industry. It doesn't really apply to you because you don't. Um, but yeah, this is how they get this. They, don't they forcefully impregnate them. So this is a male bull. Yeah. So they're putting an, an electro ejaculator in his anus, so he ejaculates. Um, yeah, they falsely impregnate the females they, yeah, to, yeah. to, because that's the only way you can get milk through. Um, pregnant animal. Yeah. Pregnant animal. Yeah. Doesn't look very comfortable, does it? No. It doesn't feel like it's worth it for ice cream, does it? I don't think it? anything's worth it for anything. Yeah. Like, that's her baby as well. Yeah. I mean, Imagine if we did that to people. You know what I mean? Although that's, I think that's a suitable alternative. This is obviously this. This is not an actual opinion of mine, but I do like to joke about the idea that we should do Soylent Green. You know, turn, Soylent Green. Yeah, turn people into food. If you didn't tell people, if you just if you labelled it as pork or beef or something, people called it a burger. It. Yeah, called it a burger. Would, people would still eat it. Yeah. Because people are just they just they, they, disconnected. Yeah. That's me. I'm at a dairy farm here. There's a dead oh. calf in the bin. It's ridiculous. It's and they separate the females like this. 
And cows are such beautiful creatures as well. I really love cows. They like big dogs. I don't actually like dogs, me. I, oh, really? I, I, I'm a bit scared of dogs, but I think that cows... Cows are big, gentle dogs. Yeah. They're like, They'll they're, never bite you. No, I mean, I, I have read that you're more likely to be killed by a cow than a shark, but I think that's... That's what you get if you're provoking an animal. Well, that's probably because humans are so connected to cows through farming that exactly. there's probably in more dangerous situations with these animals and exactly. they're t- taking they their calves heavy. away. And they are heavy. Yeah. They're taking their calves away, they're I mutilating don't them. anybody can look at that and, you know... It's a dairy cow. Like, that, how can anybody think that this is an appropriate job? Well, they only work in these places because people go out and buy the products and give them jobs. Yeah. So the, I, I always if we'd eradicated that, we'd eradicate the jobs, and I guess there's an argument for the economic purposes of meat, but even then, I think... There was a big economy around the slave trade as well, wasn't that's there? That's the point. But we wouldn't keep it in just because we of it. We can't keep it because it's people. People say there's an ethical argument, but they feel emotion too. Yeah. I don't understand why people think, oh, but there's no emotion to them. Like, yes, there is. Like, we wouldn't have kept the slave trade running in America because it was good for the cotton fa- farmers good and the slave the economy, owners. but, yeah. like, it's killing people forcefully enforcing you know enslaving them yeah yeah. falsely enforcing people well that's robbing them of their right to our life yeah like freedom and and that's what we're doing here so i I don't think the economic argument holds look at them they are like dogs aren't they look he's licking my ear yeah but um yeah as a you'd say that you practice veganism but you you're not you wouldn't say you hold the philosophy of veganism where you would understand the ideology and I do support places like you know the RSPCA and Peter and things like that because I think everyone has a right to life it's like the abortion argument people everybody has the right to choose so I I think I do feel like it's a choice thing I I, sometimes I feel like 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 Morrissey I sometimes do think militant veganism can be quite scary and that's people's argument is like even if they don't have a full philosophy they can say well I don't like veganism because they just force it down your throats. Yeah, yeah. Like, I so just when you say choice, like, like, there's always like when we have a choice to eat animal products, right? And you're saying people should be able to have that choice. You I, know? I think giving people freedom to choose whatever ideology and lifestyle they want is important. But I also think any. Wait, I want to. I want to. I want to. I'm going to press you there a little bit because not like I people. could have a choice to be a. I don't know, a murderer. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess... I could be a Satanist who takes people back to my house and does, you know, but yeah. I could say, this is my ideology, I need my, ch- my choice, but where's the victim's choice in that? Yeah, I do understand that. So we've got to respect everyone's yeah. choice. I think when it comes to things that aren't, aren't going into the realms of illegality, you know, like, p- like you know, a paedophile could say, well, it's my choice to do this. Well, no, you... You know, the slave that's... trade wasn't exactly. illegal. Exactly. It was legal. So I think when you talk, when we talk about these topics, we have to talk about morality and ethics. Yeah. yeah. And I think I don't want to live in a world where everyone is forced to follow a certain ideology. It's like if you lived in a country that was strict Christian and you had to be a Christian. I think that can be, you know, that for gay people, that is a very instructing idea to you can't live in that society i think it is a very we have to have balance in society do you think you should be forced not to kill people like in a like with police force oh god yeah that's because okay. it's that, again okay. going so, into the realm so then you're saying you, you some force is okay if it's in in think, in the name of protecting people's rights and life yeah, I, th- I think okay, so why, why is it different for not being vegan because when you're not vegan um like you know you're forcing animals into slaughterhouses and forcing them to die and you're saying you shouldn't force people to be to make this choice kind of thing when this choice has a direct victim. But see, in, yeah. in these other contexts, you're saying no, no, no. These the, you shouldn't have the choice to be in, to enslave people or kill people. Or I guess again, it's just the idea. I, I, I was raised in a world that it was meat eating, and I don't look at animals. No, I do, I, I do personally, but I think a lot of people don't look at animals and think, oh, this has got an emotion. But they do with cats. But you know and they cats. have. You know, oh, you know, God, you know yeah. they do. Like pigs are the, one of the most intelligent animals on planet Earth, and yet we consume so much bacon and pork and things. And I just think it's ridiculous. Why? Do you think that that society and the police, and the government, should protect animals' rights to life? Uh, definitely. I think there is. I think the biggest argument is surrounding more domesticated animals. Like you have to report if you hit a dog, but you don't have to report if you hit a cat. That's one of the things that I think. You know, P- I think pigs and chickens and cows aren't even covered under those laws. Exactly. Yeah. Some people would see like an animal suffering, and they might help the animal, and then they would go and buy a burger. Yeah, I do think that people do have this idea. It's because we separate things between domesticated and farmed. It's like you could argue in places like China, where they do eat cats and dogs. People can say, "Well, that's their lifestyle choice," but people say, you know, if you were to show a Westerner the dog 
meat industry, they're like, oh, that's apparent. You can't that's do hypo- that. Would you say that's hypocritical? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I yeah. think, you know, well, you'd, you've seen that to a cat or a dog and you think, oh, that's apparent. Well, that's what exactly what they're doing to cows and pigs and lambs. And, and they suffer the same. Exactly. They're all yeah. feeling the same emotion. They don't suddenly switch off emotions because they are a non-domesticated animal. If you domesticated a pig, if you domesticated a cow, any kind of farmed animal, they would have the exact same reactions to a dog or a cat. If you, if you domesticate, if you got a calf from the day it's born and you domesticated that calf, that calf would have a name, it would answer to its name. It's like in the episode, uh, I'm going to reference The Simpsons because that's something I can do, um, where Bart adopts a cow but Bart will still continue to eat eat beef afterwards, even though he domesticated this cow and raised it. And disconnect. Yeah, it was. And I just think you know, like, um, I, I think it was really good for the writers to make Lisa a vegetarian because it did pose an argument to people. I was, I wasn't even alive when that episode came out because Linda McCartney's in it and she passed away before I was born. But that made me think actually, no, that that is. And I just, I remember my dad. Um, he, d- he told me a loving story about when he had to go and clean some machinery at, at, um, at a slaughterhouse and he's not stopped eating meat mm. and at, at that immediately we sat down and my mum put my Sunday dinner in front of me she put country file on and there were these cows I just pushed it away and went I can't eat that so that's an interesting story and I just wanted to know like whether you still think like people should be able to make these choices that cause this suffering to sentient beings whether or not like you feel like oh they should have that freedom of choice but you know there's other contexts where you would say no 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 we shouldn't have the freedom of choice to beat dogs to do dog fighting yeah. to do these other ethical th- unethical things but I mean, puppy farms are still technically legal aren't they in certain aspects you know you could say well it's not a farm it's just a breeding center but they have ab- abhorrent conditions i think there are going to be loopholes regardless of what people do and i do i do agree that people shouldn't be given this full-on free-range choice but I also think I can't physically stop anybody from doing what they want I understand that people out there can be a bit you know if I you know if I walked into a McDonald's and said you're all monsters I don't know what people are going to do somebody could hurt me I I know that well they wouldn't that would be because they're so disconnected they wouldn't know what you're talking about but what if you just walked in there and said hey did you know this this stuff here is happening yeah I mean I, I think again people would look at it they probably would walk away and think yeah, all right. I yeah. think people are still very dismissive of this. And I think it's sort of like the argument of teaching religion in school. You know, I personally, from my point of view, I think that should be shown in schools to just sort of, you know, and then give people that, you know, do you still want to continue eating? Like an educated apps? choice. Yeah. Like I not th- just like a blind choice, they don't no, know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. I think if you showed people that, yeah. you know, and maybe not young children, I think that is a bit. Not super young. No, no. I, th- I think. Year seven, so it's eleven weird, to twelve. Though, Let me stay there for a sec. It's weird that it's bad to show it to the child, five year old, whatever. It's but it's fine. It's fine to feed it to them without yeah, them knowing. Exactly. I think I, I do understand that. I just think it is so gory. But I think if you explain to a child, you know, if you said, you know, if you took your child to a farm and said, so this is a cow, yeah. and you could then explain cow produces meat, beef, and that, that's what did it for you know that and the Simpsons. It all made me realise actually, no, these were. This lived once. I think I could say to a five-year-old, "Hey, do you know animals are hurt and they 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 are they killed? Like they are killed they, for the meat." Because yeah. unlike adults, children just look at all animals and think, "Wow, animals!" Whereas adults go, "Oh, but cats and dogs no, but oh, it's yeah, dogs it's are here cow. to be friends and cows yeah. are food." I've been taught this. They're so conditioned, and children are still more pure, yeah. and they haven't been adulterated by society's you know social norms yeah. and things like that. But I guess you could turn, some people might turn around and use the argument, well, you wouldn't teach a child about gay people, which I just think is such a stupid argument. I think you could sort of apply a similar, well, it's not wrong to teach a child this because they should be aware of the world around them and what is going on around them. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, educating someone on homosexuality is, like, fine. Yeah, exactly. And I also think educating children on what happens in slaughterhouses, if you, you know, obviously you need to tailor it to the to the audience. Yeah, exactly. If they're really young, you need to you're sort of tailor it. You're not going to go, here's, this, Here, is what, this is what happens. But I think when they get into, like, 13, 14 yeah. area, when they're already exposed to this stuff, yeah, they should be able to... Yeah, play in GTA at the minute, you know, like... And I think the generation below me, compared to me, are very desensitised. Yeah. I think they are a completely desensitised generation. You could probably afford to show them that and they'd, 
they might some might, people won't not even react yeah i agree i think i think they wouldn't even have that oh god that's horrible i feel like they'd look at it and go and yeah I'm, I'm hoping to reach out to the people who do have compassion and are willing to change and are willing to like take the power into their hands. I think, and I think a lot of people, if you showed them that, would go vegetarian or maybe reduce their meat intake a heck of a lot quicker than we think. Well, they need to see the consequences of their actions yeah. and these undercover investigations are really important. So I think the one I want to see more is one surrounding fishing. I don't know anything about what goes on in the fishing industry. I just know that it goes out of the sea and onto somebody's plate. I don't know anything about how they're killed. I don't know anything like that. I, I, I guess I could, you could well, argue. They use these it. massive trawling nets, so like yeah. super trawlers, and they, they, they open like up these, dredge, them up, don't dredge they? up everything and dump it onto the boat and they suffocate and die, or they, they might use hooks or, you know, stab them in the head and yeah. they, uh, they dump them in a big, I've got, I've got some footage here. <laughs> or they dump them in a big ice bath uh, to stun Aww. them. So this is a just these are just fish farms. So 50% of the fish people eat come out of fish farms. So they're yeah. just cultivating them, and then they're killing them. And again, it's the, it's the domesticated argument. I know, granted, you're not going to go, you know, hear bubbles and your fish is going to look at you, but you're still gonna, you still people still look at goldfish and think, oh no, I'd never eat that. You know, even if the goldfish was the size of a cod. Well, dolphins are a good example. Oh yeah, exactly. People wouldn't eat dolphin. Well, most people so, won't mo- a lot of fish. most people won't but they eat these fish and these fish are suffering here yeah. look at the gills they're expanded even though they're in some form of water they're still I, I, I don't I hate going to fish markets like Barnsley before they re- redid their fish market and stuff you had to walk through the fish and meat market to get into the actual market and I thought why is this not putting people off but it's horrible are. violence and suffering to sea animals uh, for an unjustifiable reason. Also, that just went on the floor. I don't know how people are like, oh, yeah, but it's fine. I'm like, no, it just went on the floor. You wouldn't want to eat something. If you dropped an apple on the floor, you're not going to eat it again afterwards, are you? I don't see an ethical problem with dropping an apple when eating it, but no, stabbing no, a I fish in the throat. Like, if, you saw, if you showed someone like the conditions that their food was even well, being it's not, it's not just that they're on the floor. It's the blood, the suffering, yeah. the feces and all of these... Oh, like that's just traps, you know. So that's what the nets do. They And they just take up anything, don't they? Like, yeah. That's a seal. Yeah, bycatch it's called. I just think... Hundreds of thousands of uh, seals and dolphins and turtles are all caught up in bycatch yeah. every year. That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. And we, we, I think, I do believe that humans have also overfished certain areas of the ocean. I think it's up near Norway that humans have just overfished. There's no cod left there. We've ruined an ecosystem. Yeah. And that's something we don't realise. We don't realise the environmental impact that we're having as, as a, you know, even if we take the meat industry out of this as a whole race. I mean, I can't say anything. And I, I smoke, and that's realistically that's not ethical because other people don't have the choice around me to. But like, I, like, I'm doing this for I, me. I'd, I'd place a moral distinction be- behind, between smoking a cigarette and oh, God, eating yeah, the, no, the flesh of a dead animal. Like, so, I, I mean, you, you could start like analysing everything. Oh, what's, how ethical is that jumper? How yeah. ethical is that tripod? Again, it's, and It's all, I think, ethics and morality and things like that. I think that if you gave everyone, you know, if you showed people, you know, how the clothes industry works, how the meat industry works, how everything works, yeah. I think a lot more things would fall off. Yeah. I think the meat industry would be one of the biggest to yeah. fall well, off I, if people I were showing With it. the meat industry, it's so obviously wrong to shoot someone in the head, cut them up into pieces and eat their body, because yeah, if exactly. you put yourself if in you, that if position... If you saw a serial killer that did that, you'd be like, what an abhorrent human being. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, Jeffrey Dahmer's a good example. Exactly. Oh, well, he has got some fangirls and they scare me yeah. more than life. It's yeah. like, Whoa. But he nah. ate his victims. Um, he actually drugged them first, yeah, so he, he killed them. All yeah. In to keep them as zombies he had them as slaves so that was like humane killing because they didn't know what was going to happen well they didn't know what was going to happen it's not true I don't think murder can ever be humane by the way no. but I'm just saying like in the industry meat industry they say oh if you bolt gun them in the head and they don't feel it and they're stunned it's a humane slaughter is it though it's I don't know no. in it like <laughs> How can, I don't how, agree. How can slaughter be humane something's dying murder exactly it's if something is dying it's dying with that argument you could just shoot someone in the back of the head and kill them and say oh, oh it was well, humane well they didn't know it were coming yeah it was, they didn't suffer they were free range free, free range murder yeah well that's what the arguments they yeah. use in the animal context i don't know why they they don't apply in the human context as well i mean 
they, I feel like human beings have a double standard. If you do it to them, oh my God, it's horrible, yeah, it's slavery, it's, it's like murder, me. it's rape, it's all these yeah. things. You do it to a cow, a chicken, a pig, or a fish, who cares? It's a food chain, it's humane slaughter. It's I, I, I think, I, I mean, I, I think hunt, hunting is abhorrent, but in it is abhorrent, and I'm not like advocating for it, but the way that hunting is done compared to that, like you could argue, you know, that's why it's... I'm trying to think of I understand. You know what it, I mean? There, it's I a lesser of two evils, it's but it's still... It's the lesser of the two evils, yeah. but it's... It's still evil. Like, you know, the, the Holocaust was much worse than your average serial killer, but that doesn't mean your average serial killer is then eth ethical, no, does exactly. it? No, so, so, like, you know, I've known... Seen people be tortured before they're killed, and then people just be executed from a gunshot to, to the head. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't therefore mean the gunshot to the head is ethical just because the torturing beforehand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So there are worse ways to kill animals, and there are worse ways to kill humans as well. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't mean the act of killing is therefore Wrong. ethical. So ethical, we always sorry. go for the like, okay, from hunting, I just go, why hunt someone down? Why not just eat plant-based foods and do our best there? Like. Yeah, exactly. And like like we're saying about the lesser two evils, I think. People, I mean, people are more against hunting than they are the meat industry, and I mean, again, that's hypocritical. Exactly. There's more suffering in the meat industry than than, than hunting. hunting. I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, I don't agree with hunting. I don't agree with. I just think, especially now with the idea that you can, it's fine to go hunting with 30 people. I just think that's just. That's it's, insane. It's pushing an idea. You know, like why can't I go to a gig, but you can go and slaughter animals for fun. I just don't understand it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's. I think hunting people is wrong as well. You know, I just kind of <laughs> might need it. No, yeah, I'm yeah. obviously not. For well, it depends who it is. People, I'm not for all the hunting of people. Well, it depends who it is. Like, yeah. if there's a psychopathic murderer out yeah, there on a killing that. spree, then yeah, hunt them down. Yeah. But like, um, just innocent people, like yeah, deer like or innocent. Like, like if it's like, um, I'm not going to use a specific example, but like if somebody went into a public area with a gun. And started hunting people, which happens. Of course, that's why I didn't want to give a specific yeah, examples, yeah, yeah. In, yeah, you yeah, know, for the victims. For the sensitivity of it, yeah. And I just think, well, people will look at that and go, "Oh, that's shocking. That's abhorrent." Yeah. But that's what people do with hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Except hunting's a sport, and it's. Uh, How is it a sport? It's a sport, and people like they sort of. Don't they? They fetishise hunting and they think, "Oh, it's great, not hunting, a hunting's sport. great." You know what is a sport? Football. Yeah. That's a sport. Yeah. Kicking a ball around exactly. or something, going for a run. I just, I don't see hunting as a sport. I don't see hunting as anything that is good or ethical. And I just think it is. It's also perpetuating a class society. Yeah. It's like, oh, we can afford to go hunting, but you can't go back to yeah. McDonald's peasants. Yeah, we can buy a massive uh, eight hundred dollar yeah. rifle and. and Why are you doing that? Yeah. You know, you could you could do so much good with that money, yeah. and yet they choose to do that. I think so, I think somebody wants to have a good argument. Do you want to come and sit down for a debate? It was really nice talking no, to you, you anyway. Too, um, you've definitely given you, me some more ideas, you know, yeah, good yeah, yeah. arguments. I mean, you already know a bunch about it anyway, but like... Like, you know, some people are just picky eaters, and maybe they think, oh, I, I, there's not many vegetables I like, but I am going to reduce my meat intake and increase my corn intake kind of thing. Yeah. So, they, you know, I, I do applaud people that are trying their best as well. You know, there's so many other mock meats other than corn, because corn have a good vegan range, but they also got vegetarian, which has got the eggs and the dairy, which yeah. we want to avoid. So there's so many other amazing... It's um, just because they're not mainstream. Well, like Tesco and Sainsbury are mainstream. Some, yeah, but some companies just don't see vegan and vegetarian is profitable so you've got to go and actively look for it and again it's a lazy thing in society people are like well well there's a vegan section in tesco and sainsbury's oh, just oh, walk yeah. there and there's i mean here in the uk i just i don't understand how people haven't found the vegan section in the supermarket now in asda there's a whole vegan aisle you know there's always subway and uh yeah, subway, these pizza uh, brilliant papa john's do good vegan too. pizza yeah. fantastic with vegan yeah. cheese and pizza express is vegan yeah. pizza is gorgeous yeah so there's there's plenty of places i mean even if you get a bit stuck i've never actually been stuck for a vegan option yeah, um exactly. even if i was i just would pick skip that meal restaurant. and yeah. pick a different place yeah, yeah exactly Nice, nice talking, talking to you. To you. I'll, I'll, I'll do the corona else. shape. No worries. All right. Thank you very Take much. Take care. Yeah, you too. So, do you have any arguments against being vegan? Yes. What is yours? Come on. Meat's pang. Meat's pang? 